is quite a story. Lost for decades, a South Boston man's class ring finally found by a man on the South Shore. A treasure hunter located it with a metal detector, and tonight he turned it over to the owner's daughter. As Ken McLeod shows us, she will soon put it back on Dad's hand. Oh, all yeah. right, that's why. It, it, Tonight, Christine Waddell and Luke Baruby marveled at the ring like old friends, even though they just met. Uh, I think I'll be smiling forever. <laughs> Luke's longtime hobby has been finding lost jewelry, but the chance to return this 1960 class ring to its rightful owner is something new. It's a whole different feeling. This is the Hanson Pond where Luke found the ring on Saturday. Not here along the shoreline. He's a bit more adventurous than that. Out there in his scuba gear, 10 feet deep. He even recorded the murky moment on his underwater GoPro camera, and his desire to learn the backstory was immediate. I'm like, am I finally going to be able to return one? It's from the former Gate of Heaven High School in Southie, with the initials WJW etched inside. And that sent Detective Luke to the school's private Facebook page, where a friend of Christine's would see it within hours. So I said to my dad, Dad, could this be yours? He goes, yeah, it could be mine. I'm like, you lost a ring? He goes, yes. Indeed, it belongs to 77-year-old William Joseph Waddell, a teenager when he graduated from Gate of Heaven nearly 60 years ago, only to have his then-girlfriend lose the ring shortly after. Getting it back was not even on his radar. He was, like, shocked. It never gets old. It never gets old. Christine says she'll hand deliver it to her dad in Virginia this weekend and won't be surprised if it conjures up some emotion. That's reward enough for Luke. I finally get to check it off my bucket list. <laughs> on the Cape, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.